anyone that knows my channel will know how much I love my gorgeous Italian girlfriends here. We've been together three years. I've been on some romantic country escapes with her. I've taken her to my most secluded, sexy water holes. And I've even taken her to the races with a whole bunch of other super bikes just to keep her happy. But all of that has to change. And that's because I may have accidentally crashed it. But isn't that what your channel's all about? Crashed super bikes? That's a really good point. And you must all have a sixth sense because about two weeks ago I posted on the community page on my YouTube channel about what build you'd like to see next and overwhelmingly out of 74 votes, Ducati, an exotic super bike in a Ducati form was what you all voted for. So I guess I've just delivered. to our sponsors all morning and everyone has jumped at the chance to get on board with this build and we have got some amazing surprises in store. That includes the Insta famous car design who will be doing some amazing renders for this build. See this sort of work here. This guy is mind-blowingly good. But it's going to have a completely different theme to what you're used to seeing on YouTube. This build is going to be all about performance and for any math nerds out there, it's going to be around about 70% performance and 50% style. So the first step for us is to actually get the bike running again and for that we've got to buy some parts. So just working our way front to back, we've got a whole bunch of damage with the fairing but look to be honest we're probably going to swap this fairing out for a race fairing anyway a broken clip on, it's a pretty clean break, that's okay. So we've got a set of those ordered. Um, we have got, the worst part is actually the generator cover has a really bad crack in it right here and it's lost about a liter of oil. But luckily I got up in time, turned the engine off and everything should be sweet with that. So hopefully no risk to the engine. We've already ordered a new engine cover coming from Ukraine. Uh, the exhaust was fine, it didn't get, didn't get damaged at all, which is good because this will be for sale shortly. The left foot peg and gear shifter has completely sawn right off. So we've got a complete replacement rear set coming for the left hand side and we'll be able to set that up pretty quickly. Let's get into it and start stripping this baby down, hey? You can actually see in the oil inspection cover here, I'll try and focus that there is no oil in that puppy at all. Oh, there's a little bit of, bit of ground, a bit of dirt in the bike. Oh, there's just oil everywhere. It's, it's an abomination. So I've actually found some more damage. Uh, the adjuster here on the lever is gone. So that's probably no good. The lever itself is a bag of, oh, I'm gonna say crap. So that's no good. And we've actually grazed off a fair bit of the top of the master cylinder. It'll still work uh, for getting those first few lap times, but We'll be replacing all these masters anyway with something a bit more high spec. So if you want to jump on board and support the build, hit the link in the top right, buy me a coffee, much appreciated. That is just full of stones, dirt, it is disgusting. But it's in one piece, so we can sell this. Look at that, everything's just covered in oil. Man, it's just greasy as hell. All the oil has just come straight down out of this crack here. Like, look at that, there's oil on my finger there. It's just everywhere, everything is coated. This whole bike needs a really good clean. Luckily, it doesn't look like it's got too much on the exhaust or it burnt off pretty quickly. I'm quite lucky it didn't catch fire to be honest. So yeah, fair bit of cleaning involved. We 
have lined up a very exclusive racer, X racer, uh, very well known in the industry, and they are gonna be testing this bike after the build, just to see has all that performance enhancement we've made really paid off. So structurally, this bike is completely fine, but look how much extra weight there is in these you know, road going parts that we just don't need. So you know, taking off this whole back frame and putting a racing subframe on it, racing seat, racing front subframe as well with ear take index, getting rid of this heavy magnesium front, uh, front stay here. You know, that's gonna, that's gonna strip weight off this bike. We'll probably also have a play with the actual sprocket sizes we use. We might go up one on the rear and, sorry, down one on the rear and up one on the front. And what that does is that helps lower the actual uh, pivot resistant, uh, sorry, the, the pivot point of the bike. So it lowers the, the center of the flex uh, and it allows you to get more drive out of the corners. Someone smart told me that. I didn't actually know that before then. This tire we've been using, a Super Corsa, is just covered in oil, so that's going. We've got a new set of slicks sitting over there on the shelf, so they're gonna go on the bike for the first track session. So it turns out you need a special tool, like a bearing puller, uh, to pull this whole face off. So I've gone ahead and ordered one of them, uh, just so I don't ruin anything else in the engine, trying to pull this off. Better be safe than sorry. So that's it, tune in, watch the build. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be performance focused, and this is gonna be a weapon when it's finished.